we will have J option pain class for today's session and uh, this is a different way of accepting and displaying e input output from the user or to or of the user and uh, to make it more um, graphical when it comes to accepting input and displaying output of the user so let's start we have now um, the different methods and description of the Java J option pane class. So the common methods are the J dialog, <coughs> create the, create dialog that uh, accepts now a parameter of string title. So here it is used to create and return a new parenthesis parentless dialog with the specify specified title static void uh, show message dialog so we have component parent component object it is used to create an information message dialog title message and static void um, show message dialog so component parent component object message string title int message title so this is to create a message dialog with a given title and message type this is commonly used I know this is commonly used rather than this one because it only have two parameters and this one is if you would like to extend your displaying of output through the user with another um, string value static in show confirm dialog component parent component and object message it is used to create a dialog with the yes no and cancel with the title select an option so this is the dialog the message dialog that uh, has three options to select on that is yes, no, and cancel. Static string show input dialog. Uh, this is a J option method that allows now the user to accept input from, from the user. So it is used to show a question message dialog requesting input from the user parented to parent component. And last one is void set input value. Object new value. It is used to set the input value that was selected or input by the user so we'll have an example and how are these methods used in the environment of eclipse please watch the videos suggested and how to set your project properties for your java x swing to work let us have our first example of our j option paint so we make use on this code we make use of the show message dialog when you say message dialog it will just simply display an information and um, just an information placed in a window so we have the declaration will be parent component and the message the message and then there you have again another component right after but you can already satisfied up to up to the uh, message com message area here right after the parent component so we call now f new j frame as our, as our parent component but if you're not going to use the j frame it's also acceptable you only on the thing that you're just going to initialize here is null so for this one uh, when you say show message dialog it will just display an information of in a window so as you can see in the output there you have hello welcome to java option pane class class that i'm referring here is the classes and methods under j option pane and that uh, message also is placed is the message we place in our double code um, of as one of the parameter of the show message dialog class if i'm not going to use now the j frame so if I'm not going to use, I will uh, comment it so that um, Java will, compiler will not read it. But by that time, or if that will happen, all you need to do here is put null because that's the basic um, syntax of the J, of the show message dialog. So still it works and we will see the output. Okay, there you have, uh, we have still 
J. I mean, the message still there. Hello, welcome to Java Option Pane class. So that's uh, the difference of having J option. I mean, J frame as your parent component here, and not having J frame as your parent component. We have another example here, and that is the use of another. That's an assigning another parameter of a show message dialog, wherein we use of a string title and a message type, the message type here. So, in our first example, we did not declare a string title and a message type, but with a, with another example that we have here, we we add up a string title. That's the title that will appear on the. Uh, title bar and the op the the message type if it's uh, the kind of message that we're showing to the uh, to the user so we have so this is the first one the j option pane that show message dialog so we have below welcome to java option pane class and that's the message inside of our double code and the default message displayed because we did not we did not put a string title that's for the first out output i mean that's for the first line the show message dialog so this is the output next is another window appear and this is another show message dialog and we have the symbol this is the alert symbol that's the output of the warning message so the j option pane that warning message is this uh, exclamation point symbol here and the alert message the alert word was then of that string title we declare and successfully updated is the message that display on the message dialog so that's uh, the program is doing if you would put some exclamation point to add up degree of your message, then that can also be done. That can appear on the window. So there you have alert and the, add, the, the four exclamation point that we added. It's also added to the string title part of the message dialog. Okay, another example, and this is now show input dialog uh, J option paint class. So with show input dialog, it allows now the user to accept, it allows now the program to accept input from the user. So we have defined a variable name, name as a string type, and we place now the value input from that instruction of the show option uh, the show input dialog with the label enter name so the appearance of this is um it will just as a message dialog that will input or will ask input from the user j option pay the show message dialog we display now the output uh here like first we declare the word hello plus the value input that we have name plus welcome to java option pane class um that means we combine hello and a space the name that we enter and then the word welcome to java option pane class we cannot uh we cannot make use of the the we can create probably a format here but that is with the use of um we cannot call the format specifier that we have in our console because every comma that we declare in a show message dialog will invoke another part or another instruction so let's see the output so if i would put one one right and then i press now enter so the input that i have strike which is one welcome to java option class pane was captured then by the show message dialog and that input that i placed the one was stored in a variable name name so that's how the show 
input dialog works okay what if we are going to create now computations or say calculations the first input that accepts by the show input dialog is a string format so if we would like to do computations then we have to convert first the input into an integer or to a primit a string type or a primitive data type in order for the operation or in order for the instruction to perform a computation so for example we have int x equals integer dot parse in right parse in and then we convert now our name into a into an integer and we have now x our as our uh, converted value of the name variable so uh, we have now x and if we will perform here in operations of x uh, let's say for example we have x plus x that's um, x plus x okay so expectedly this will be about um, since x is an integer so whatever input we have to x that will be added to value of x and displayed on the message dialog so let us see so i input now two and i have hello for welcome to java option pane so it performs now an operation of um addition okay operator so whenever you want again so whenever you want to create a operational instruction function to a variable the first input value of a show input dialog is in a string format and you have to parse it into an integer or a double if it's a double then that would be double that parse double if it's a float then dub uh float that parse float so depending on the type of data that you have in order for you to perform now an operations of arithmetic operations for the uh, for the variable or of the variable that you have declared so that's the use of the show input dialog